Hello there, and welcome to yet another class on partial derivative. But we'll be looking at mixed or cross partial derivative. All right, so how does this work? Um, let's say I'm given a function. Say I'm given a function z in terms of x and y. We said we can have something that looks like partial z over partial x, and then we could have series of higher um, partial derivatives in the form d squared z all over dx squared, also d squared z all over d cube z all over dx cube, things like this. But then again, there is another form called the cross or the mixed partial derivative. Now, how does this work? I will take an example and we'll show you how this works. Let's say I have z as being equal to x cubed y squared minus 3x to the power 5 y to the power 3 plus 2x y to the power 7. All right. So let's do a bit of um, cross or mixed partial derivative. Let's say we ask to find for this here. Um, first things first, let me get let me get this. If I differentiate z with respect to x, it becomes a partial z all over partial x. And that will be equal to differentiate x cubed, it gives you 3x squared. All right? Use 3x squared to multiply this. It gives you 3x squared y squared. I'm done with this. Minus, this is x to the power 5. Differentiate x to the power 5, you have 5x to the power 4. Use this to multiply this and this. So 3 times 5 is 15. x to the power 4, bring this one down, y to the power 3, okay? Plus, differentiate x here, you have 1. 2 times 1 times y to the power 7 gives you 2y to the power 7. Now, in my first partial derivative, I differentiated with respect to what? x. Now, let me differentiate with respect to y. What do I get? This now becomes d squared z all over, for my first differentiation, I differentiated this with respect to x. So I have dx. In my second one, I want to differentiate with respect to y. So you now have partial y. So we now have something of this nature. Something of this nature is called the mixed or the cross partial derivative. Now, that will be equal to, in this case now, for the second one here, for this um, function here, my focus will be on the y. So differentiate y squared now, no longer x. Differentiate y squared gives you what there? 2y. Use 2y to multiply this. It becomes 3 times 2, 6, x squared y, x squared y. I have this. Differentiate y cubed here. It gives you 3y squared. 3y squared times this, that's minus. 15 times 3 is 45. This one here, x to the power 4. This one here, y squared. Okay? Plus, differentiate y to the power 7. That gives you 7y to the power 6, if I work on this. So 2 times 7 gives you 14y to the power 6. So this is now the value of um, d squared z all over dx dy. So this is how we do cross um, partial derivative. That means for, the, for your given function, first of all, the differentiate with respect to x, as you can see here. Um, you focus on x first. When you're done differentiating now, from this your answer, you now focus on differentiating y, and you have this. Okay, now let's reverse it. What if we are asked to find d squared z all over dy dx? What if you are asked to find this? What do you do? The same concept. So first things first, I have z as being equal to x cubed y squared minus... 3, x to the power 5, y to the power 3, plus 2, x, y to the power 7, okay? So let's now get partial z all over. Now, for this, we can see that the y comes first. So let's get partial z over partial y. What do you get? 
That means for this year, I'll focus on just the y. Starting with this, differentiate y squared. What do you have there? 2y. Use 2y to multiply this. That gives you 2x cubed y, x cubed y, minus, again, my focus is still on the y. Differentiate y cubed. It gives you 3y squared. Use 3y squared to multiply this. 3 times 3 is 9. I have this as x to the power 5, y squared. Okay, so 3 times 3, 9 x to the power 5, y squared, plus, differentiate for this one here, differentiate y to the power 7. You have what there? 7 y to the power 6. Okay, so use this to multiply this. 2 times 7 is 14. I have this x, and I have this y to the power 6. So I have this case here. My next task is to now differentiate with respect to x, right? Differentiate with respect to x, what do you have now? I will now have partial squared z all over partial y partial x. So I'm shifting my focus now to x. If I shift my focus now to x, what do I get? Differentiate x cubed here, it becomes 3x squared. So it becomes 2 times 3x squared times y, that gives you 6x squared y, right? 2 times 3, 6x squared y minus the focus is still on x differentiate x to the power 5 you have 5 x to the power 4 9 times 5 is 45 and that, be that becomes 45 x to the power 4 y squared x to the power 4 y squared plus differentiate x here you have 1 1 times 14 that's 14 times this y to the power 6 so i have this all right, so this is how we solve partial derivative using the mixed or cross partial derivative um, formula. All right, so this is how this will work, all right? Okay. So we have this as the squared z all over what? dy dx. And that's equal to 6x squared y minus this. Now, is there a possibility that I can have something that looks like um, the squared or the cube z all over dy dx dy is it possible now for this one here i'll just focus on the y here okay so now the, the idea is now focus on the y if i differentiate y here i'll have one six x squared times one gives me six x squared minus for this focus on the y differentiate y squared you have two y 45 times two is 90 into this x to the power 4 y plus differentiate y to the power 4 y to the power 6 you have 6 y to the power 5 so 6 times this you have um, 84 you have 84 y to the power 5 so perhaps we have something of this nature so this is how we solve this question so I've done, I've covered partial derivative on my website, right? So if you want to gain access to my class on partial derivative, simply log on to www.jonahimano.com forward slash courses, all right? And then you see second year undergraduates, all right? You can get the course and under the mathematics section, you see a complete step-by-step -step tutorials for everything pertaining to partial derivative. All right then, see you in the next class.